everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again. Thank you so, so, so much for stopping by to see what I'm up to today. And I am not up to any decorating. I'm not up to any crafting. <laughs> I am tuckered out, you guys. This is Friday and I have put up a video Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday and have been crafting and decorating every one of those days. And I decided that I was going to take today off <laughs> because I'm, I'm pooped. And I am going to make this my last video of the week. I know I put one up this morning and you may see this later this evening. I'm not sure. Either that or Saturday morning. I'm not sure. We'll see. But I'm coming to you, and I am going to add this into the queue, uh, into my playlist with all of my other transitioning back to my Cozy Country Decor series. Uh, just because this is a haul, and I am going to be using everything that I'm hauling here next week when I move into, when I do my staircase bullnose spray. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna use for that. And then I still haven't got my pit berries yet. That'll be another video when I get that those pit berries in and we'll do that cozy corner on the right hand side of my TV credenza and then the lantern that Candace got me. I am hoping upon hope that my pit berries are on the UPS truck that we saw in the neighborhood here <laughs> who will be stopping by. If he happens to come before the end of this video, I'll show you my pit berries, but I'm not holding my breath. Uh, so I've got my hot tea here. And I'm just going to sit here and chat with you guys for a little while and show you what I've accumulated in the last few shopping trips, couple of shopping trips. And um, just to give you a little update of, you know, what I'm going to be doing coming up, other than those two things I just mentioned. First of all, though, I want to go over what I'm going to be using for the bullnose spray. And I wanted to show you <laughs> what I used last year. Now, or back in August. This, and it's pretty, it was my bull nose spray, and you can see it's got lights. I don't know whether you can see it or not. There's a, the light, a light uh, strand running through it. Uh, and I just put a bow in the front of it, and this is it. But I'll tell you the truth, I'm gonna take this apart, and I'm going to incorporate it with everything I'm gonna show you right now. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is to, so I'm gonna set this aside. Again, it just has Gerber's and some darker Gerber uh, you know, the burlap daisies, which I will probably incorporate in because it matches, you know, kind of the darkness of, you know, my plaid, the dark color of the plaid. So let me set this aside though, and I'll show you. I went to Hobby Lobby the other day. They had their flowers, well, half their flowers on sale, their florals on sale for 50% uh, off this week. And I went in, I just collected some things and I thought I would share them with you. I'm sorry about my light. It keeps going in and out. Let me poke my, my, usually I can turn it down a minute, a little bit. There we go, maybe that'll help. Uh, first thing though, let me show you. I mean, I'm gonna make a funky bow for that bull nose. I thought all the other uh, bows that will go on the swag points of the pit berries that go up the steps there, we'll have a bow, just a round bow, that is made out of this ribbon. But I thought I wanna, you know, bump it up a little bit there at the bull nose. So I'm going to, you know, kind of make one similar to the one I made up here at the ivy table. But I'm gonna add a little bit more of a linen-y look, kind of burlap, instead of the heavy burlap. So I don't know, I may use the heavy burlap. We'll see what comes over me when I go to make it either this weekend or Monday or whatever. That will be the next video you see. This will be though, will be me doing this uh, bull nose spray and getting the staircase done. So there we go. That's what I'm gonna make the funky bow out of. And here are some of the other florals that I've gathered and that I will be utilizing, probably not all of them, but some of them. So let me show you. The first thing I got, I wanted some kind of base on which to build the decor. 
I actually may cut this much off of this and start with the funky bow here. Now picture the bull nose under here, you know, and start with the funky bow on the front and then build the decor up. But this will give me something to tie to or to glue onto. I don't need all this, but this was like $3, excuse me, like uh, $3.99. And I believe I used my coupon. So, I mean, I paid what? you know, $2 for this. So, but I just wanted something that I could use kind of as a base. And I will probably glue some felt onto the back of it so that I don't uh, hurt the wood. I don't think that it would, but just in case. So that's what I'm gonna be using probably with this part cut off. And then of course it'll be bigger and wider than this. That might be UPS. I think the UPS man just pulled up on. <laughs> we are expecting a couple of deliveries. My pit berries, I'm hoping. I'll be able to show you. First thing I want to show you is I got out of the Christmas section, which was 90% off the other day. I didn't even see it. It was in back in there this morning. I didn't even see. Oh, I didn't go over to the florals, but I really didn't see any. So uh, anything Christmassy left. There was this poor woman wandering around in there, and she was like, I'm looking for the rest of that Christmas, honey. Can you tell me where it is? I said, well, yeah, I think it might be over there. <laughs> she was like, they switched this store around. They flip-flopped our store, you know. It used to be, anyway. The first time I walked in there, that might have been the first time she'd walked in there, I was like, I'm so confused. I don't know which way to go. Until I figured out that it was literally flip-flopped. So I don't know that she had been in there looking for anything Christmas this year, but I did uh, point her in the direction of whatever was left. There wasn't much left of Christmas. But I did pick this up. Now, I would not usually pick this up for really anything Christmas. I am so sorry about Sam. I'm going to pause here until he figures out that the UPS man is gone. But what I spent my, what, how much was this? 90 cents, I think, is what I ended up spending for this. $1.20 for this. Uh, are these dark berries. I thought I might pull out some of the berries. Now, I may not use this at all, you guys. But I thought certainly in some projects, somewhere along the line, I can certainly use these berries. You all know how I cut things apart and so on. So, there we go. No pit berries? Maybe the mailman later. No pit berries. My pit didn't come. Well, one of these days I will get that daggone thing done. My goodness. Well, anyway, maybe it'll come later. It's Chris going out to check the mail. <laughs> okay, another thing I got, and this was also in the Christmas department. So this was 90% off of $6. I don't know whether I will use these or not, but I sure thought they were pretty. So I may stick a feather here or there. And again, you know, I... This is becoming a comedy, isn't it? Samson. Sam. Come say hi, bud. <laughs> I think that's Chris walking down the driveway. <laughs> and you guys, every time he barks like that, he spits on the windows. So I got to go back and every day we go through this. Every day we get a delivery. I'm so sorry. Sam. What are you doing? Come say hi. Sam. Sam. What are you doing? Huh? What do you think? Come here, bud. Oh, my goodness. All right, can I get back to my haul now? What do you think? Can I? No, you need to have a pet, huh? Say hi to the people. They can't see your head. All right, go on. Go lay down, bud. Okay, back to my haul. Here comes Chris back from the mailbox. I give up. The mailman has not come yet, so I'm getting back to my haul now. I think Sam will settle down <laughs> and stop barking. So anyway, 
back to the feathers. I just thought these were pretty and I may add some of these in just for something different and just for a little bit, you know, a little touch of whimsy. We'll see. I may just not even touch them. I don't know. I just gotta, you know me, I gotta get into the creating process and I keep picking at stuff, so we'll see. So then I just picked up, like I need more of these, but I just picked up three, three more Gerbers in the burgundy color, red, reddish burgundy. And I picked up these, which I thought were pretty. And some of these. It says Fort Touch of the Tropics. Hobby Lobby, Oklahoma City. These are what I have on that wreath that hangs on my shelf over there, on that cream and cream wreath with the red uh, bow on it. And then, come here now, I bought some of these, just as a filler, you know, kind of thing. And, some zinnias. Only look at that color. They're not cream. They're kind of a, look at the underneath. They're kind of cream highlighted with that darker color. So I thought, how pretty would that be? Oh, I just knocked that with my burlap, you know? So, and now you're gonna laugh at me when you see this next one. But, and the lady at the register went, what are you gonna use this for? And I said, well, I don't know whether I will, but I thought, just, can you see what it is? It's just black, like curly Q kind of things. And of course I'm not gonna use the whole thing, you know, but I'll cut the curly cues off and maybe stick part or all of one in and around. Something different, you know? So that's what I got, and I will be incorporating it with all of that other stuff and a funky bow. So we will see what I come up with. I just couldn't bring myself to do it today, though. I'm, I'm pretty tuckered out, and I need to take, I know myself, and I need to take a, a break from crafting and from uh, decorating, just for a day or two here. Give myself a little bit of time to... Recharge my batteries. You know what? I'm just gonna put it back out in the garage just like that. If I'm gonna be using it. I'm not gonna try to get it back in the bag. All right, so that is what I will be doing with the bull nose. Obviously, I don't have my pit berries, so I can't show you them. I was really hoping that they would come with that UPS van, but I guess not. So, um, let's see, what else did I pick up from Hobby Lobby this morning? I went in looking for something to go on top of my little hutch, my grandmother's hutch, in the dining room. I really loved that winter wonderland plaque that I had in there. Well, I went into at home, and then we were walking around Hobby Lobby, and I could not find anything like that for, you know, just a generic time of year, kind of an everyday kind of a look. But I did find, oh, let's see if I can reach it here. This pineapple. Now, if you remember, my walls are painted grayish. The carpeting in there is gray and khaki and cream. So, I think this is gonna look really pretty up on top of my grandmother's hutch. And then I also picked up some Florida Lee wooden for you. This will be up higher. And then I bought two of these to flank it kind of up on top of that hutch. So I just thought, I don't have any pineapples. I used to love pineapples. I used to think, and the girl at the register actually said to me, she said, Did you, everybody's buying these pineapples. I'm surprised there was still one back there. I'm like, they are? She said, yeah, she said, they're really popular. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, I like them. So, and then I found to go up there too, 
two little wooden birds pulling out the that green color that I use in there as my accent piece accent color in there so I got two birds the pineapple and two Florida Lee I thought how pretty huh so that's what part of the stuff that I'll be using for up there uh, I thought about getting it like Kristen said I saw a lantern in that color and I thought hmm I don't think I want a lantern up there. I've got two lanterns on top of them, a big hutch, and I haven't decorated them. Not sure I will, uh, like with a lantern swag or anything like that. Uh, and I decided I didn't want, really want a lantern up there. I have a big lantern on the dining room table that I will, you know, decorate up. So I think that's enough lanterns in there. So, and then there'll be a lantern in on the uh, living room table if I decide not to use just my. That table is so little in my living room, that little table that my grandmother gave me. And I always put a lantern on there, but you know, Kristen got me those books uh, to highlight the, you know, for Christmas to highlight all of my, you know, stuff that I've done on my YouTube for the last year, uh, which would be great coffee, coffee table. table is like either big enough for the books or a, you know, a lantern. And I may just set the books out there with a, with a candle with a flower ring or something like that. Something, you know, not so much of a lantern centerpiece, but just do something, you know, just little in there to put those books on that table, just for something different. You know, I like to switch things up. So I may do that. Of course, I'm decorating as I'm sitting here talking with y'all, <laughs> thinking about it. So, and I got one more thing when we were at Hobby Lobby. So I'm excited to get into that room though. I'm excited to get in there and start decorating in the living room and dining room. I love working with the lighter colors, the grays and the and the creams and the khakis and the silvers and you know, I'm I that's another thing I bought. I did buy these at at home at the at home store and they were $7 a piece and they're just silver candles. And my uh, centerpiece that goes on the dining room table are is silver. And I have a really pretty tablecloth that you guys will see it. If, if, for those of you who have been with me for a while, you know exactly what I'm going to be doing with that uh, lantern centerpiece. But I am going to be making a funky bow swag to go along with it. Oh my goodness, it's going to be it's going to be something. I hope. I can't wait to do it. Anyway, I bought these to flank that uh, centerpiece on the dining room table. So, but I did buy one more thing at Hobby Lobby. I digress here. And I've been, poor Chris, I complain at him all the time for hanging. He usually, usually hangs his coat right here on these chairs. And he is in and out and in and out a lot, as you all have heard. <laughs> and I'm always here taping and doing stuff and moving his coat. And also, when other people come to visit, this coat closet, which is right, right there, there, is something I need to clean out. So... Um, but other people don't have a place to, you know, hang their coats. So I thought, I really want a coat hanger kind of thing for in the mud room, you know, in that room right there as you walk in, where my mom's old soap chest is hanging, and I have the, you know, the same curtains that are hanging in the laundry room there. So I got this. And it'll hang right on to the left of the doors you come in the garage. And I thought, how pretty is this? And this was $27.50. It was uh, regularly $54.99, 50% off. So it's heavy. It's good and heavy. And it's a little bit farmhousey, but not too much. Just the color, you know, which I love the color. And eventually I'd love that room painted, that grayish. You know which would be perfect check out the color of the home the lettering so this would be really pretty on a grayish wall so this will go in the mud room and of course you'll see it all hung up when I do I'm gonna do a home tour like I said throughout everything and I'll take you upstairs for those of you who haven't seen the upstairs or checked out my home tour from last year I'll take you back upstairs and show you all the bedrooms and everything the only place I don't really show is the basement, just because it's usually in disarray and there's so much stuff down there. And uh, we do have plans to finish it off one year to make kind of like a, 
a suite down there just in case somebody needs to move in with us or one of our parents or something. Put a family room, bathroom, bedroom, little kitchenette down there for them. And Chris will build it because he's like awesome like that and can do all that. Uh, but so I won't take you down there unless and, and until we start that process, which I have no idea when that will be. <laughs> so, but I have one more thing I want to share with you. And I finally found some Ray Dunn that I really love. And I'll tell you, uh, Kim over there at Sweet Daisy Creations hauled a, uh, I don't remember what it was, whether it was a crock or something, but it had red polka dots around the top of the rim. And I thought, oh my gosh, that is so cute. It was either a pitcher or something. I can't remember what it was she she hauled, but I thought, well, now I like that. There's some Ray Dunn that I'm like, oh, it's okay. I, I don't, you know, I, I don't know. I like some of it and some of it, you know, I, there's a butter dish I really like that says some bread on the front with the, you know, with the tall skinny letters. That thing was $54 plus shipping. I couldn't find it on Amazon. So I'll be waiting on that. Maybe I'll ask for that for Christmas or something next year. But anyway, as I was perusing around, looking for something, we have really enjoyed, sorry, having these, which I need to put this away because obviously it's Christmas, but having our plasticware out where we can reach it all the time. I usually keep it in the drawer. But I thought, how cute would it be to have this on the counter just over here by my, uh, by my picture frame, you know. So I went searching for something and I happened to fall and, you know, just come across this right done. And I thought, oh my gosh, I love that. As you can see, it says spoon, fork, knife. Chris says he's really glad that I got him something so that he knows what he's picking out of the crock. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll know where the forks are and the spoons are and the knives are. <laughs> but I think it's super cute. So we'll see with the red and white polka dots. And this is really nice. It's, it came packaged really nice, too. I just got it off of Amazon. I don't know the, who sold it. I, other than it went through Amazon. I had It was Amazon Prime, free shipping and everything. But it, they're really nice. So, and there you can see, right in. And from what Kim was saying on her video, apparently this is the new uh, writing instead of the long skinny stuff. I, I don't know anything about Ray Dunn, but... Anyway, I fell in love with this and I thought it was cute. So I will be switching that right now. Let me see. Let me find the one that says knives. Oh, there. <laughs> oh, there we go. How cute, huh? And four. Four, oh, come here. Things. There we go. Cute, huh? Love it. So this will sit out on my counter over here all the time. So I'm really happy that I finally got some Ray Dunn. Go me. All right, you guys, that is, I think, all I have to share with you. <laughs> so just a hodgepodge of, uh, that's my word of the week, hodgepodge. My hyphenated word of the week, hodgepodge. I've said that about a zillion times this week. But that's what this was, kind of like a hodgepodge of a haul. So I am going to rest, I think, this weekend. I may do something one of the days, but I think I'm going to rest and start back up on Monday. And I'm um, not sure that means I'm not sure what time the first video will be coming to you guys, whether it'll be later on on Monday evening. Uh, if I do something this weekend, obviously it'll be Monday morning. But I would like to 
tell you guys to please have a great weekend. Uh, try to stay warm. It's supposed to be really cold again around here. It's cold again today. It's just, uh, yuck. And those of you who are digging out of that snowstorm, I hope everything is okay with you guys and you have electricity and uh, that you have plenty of food in the house and uh, warm cocoa or coffee or tea or whatever you like to drink and have been watching, getting caught up on your old movies or maybe Arlen's videos over here at Country Craft Corner. <laughs> so, but I hope you guys have a great weekend and that you get to see those you love and who love you maybe and that your health is all everybody's health is doing okay and that nobody's having any loved ones who are sick or anything like that I hope that you, you all have our, everything is going on normally and as it should but and I'm going to rest <laughs> and recuperate this weekend a little bit because I'm tired starting to feel my age a little bit just a little you know I, I, I don't like to admit that but just a little I'm tired so but anyway so with that said I'll just say until next time y'all take good good care bye bye